All right, today I thought we'd go over how to make um, an image sequence or uh, a time lapse using the GoPro, for example. Uh, what I've done previously here is I've gone in and I've made an event in iPhoto with uh, all my GoPro image just time lapse that I just took. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this first one up here, and I'm going to make sure the JPEG sequence is checked off, and I'm going to force al alphabetical order. I would bring that in. I've already done that, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. And I've created uh, a sequence that's uh, 1920 by 1080. And you'll see that my image size is bigger than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down to here. And I'm going to make sure that using the transform that it's going to fit to comp width in this case. So there you go. You can see me in my messy office that I just moved into. And um, what we'll do then is if you would like to change how often the each picture or JPEG is on the screen, um, you can go into interpret footage main. And right now I have it interpreted to 12 frames a second. I can change that to six. And then you'll see up here that, let's move that a little bit closer, that each frame will appear for four frames before it changes. And that way, if you're rendering something out and you want to uh, be able to see each frame for a little bit more than uh, just you know one frame is one picture, then, then you can do that. And you would just have to take note and change your um, sequence settings so that you get the whole uh, image out of there. And what I'll do is I'll add it to my render queue. I just have it set for ProRes 422. And I'll render it out, and then you can see that uh, each frame is that long, in fact. And I'm not going to say that uh, this is a prime example, prime footage to use as an example, but it does get the point across of how to use that in After Effects. Um, anyway, I hope that's solved any questions that you have. And if you have more, then post them. Thanks.